<laughs> Good morning, friends. It is time for another session of the Bullish Money YouTube channel. We're out here on the beach this time because it has been just a scorchingly hot week this week. It's uh, incredible that the heat is just absolutely mind-boggling. Anyways, I want to tell you that this week, you know how there's a uh, there's Discovery's uh, running or uh, did run last week their uh, Shark Week, right? Everybody loves Shark Week. Well, I'm here to tell you that this week actually is the Shemitah Week. This weekend, this coming weekend, will be the ultimate culmination. I believe uh, Sunday at uh, 5 p.m. Eastern Time or 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific Time, I'm not sure uh, wh what uh, exactly the time is, but this Sunday will be the culmination of the Shemitah cycle. Now, I don't have time to go into detail uh, about what the Shemitah is. Uh, you can look at some of the videos I did in the past about it or uh, you can look at uh, many other YouTube videos on the subject. You want to look for a gentleman named Rabbi Jonathan Kahn, who really uh, brought the Shemitah cycle um, into public focus. At the end of every seven-year cycle, that there will be a great releasing of all uh, financial debts. And typically, within the seven-year cycle this also means at the end of the seven-year cycle this also means a judgment will fall upon israel under uh the writings of uh, uh rabbi khan he believes that america is really the new israel because america of course is the leader of the free world and so he believes that there will be a great judgment now 2015 is a shemitah year it is you can call it the ultimate uh, Shemitah uh, year. It is the Shemitah of Shemitahs. And so he believes uh, very much that even though it's not 100% guaranteed because uh, what God does is above all of us and he is ultimately sovereign, that based on previous Shemitah cycles that there will be an unprecedented economic market collapse in the United States as well as uh, throughout uh, the rest of the world. This is going to be very interesting because one of the things I've learned is that there are, um, it's not just the, the ending of the Shemitah that people should be focused on. Of course, that's, that's where you know, the sexiness is in when you talk about the Shemitah. Uh, you're talking about the crisis that will occur, the judgment that will occur at the end of the Shemitah cycle. But Rabbi Khan, in a recent interview that he did with Pat Robertson in the 700 Club, he was talking about signals that you can watch for at the beginning of the Shemitah cycle, which occurred in September, late September of 2014. Now, interestingly enough, right um, a few days after the beginning of the Shemitah cycle in September 2014, that's when you saw a dramatic decline in the major indices, not only within the U.S., but also uh, in Japan, in Hong Kong, in China. There was a, you know, globally, everywhere, there was a, a severe market correction a few days after the beginning of the current Shemitah cycle. And this may be a harbinger of what will occur at the end of the Shemitah cycle. Now, people, according to the, to the theological theory, this is a time when you see this warning sign at the beginning of the Shemitah cycle for people to get right with God, to people, for people to get right with themselves uh, morally, and to, uh, to humble themselves. But obviously, we're talking about Wall Street here, so nobody's going to be humbling anything, okay? So, as the theory goes, there will be a severe judgment at the end of this Shemitah cycle, which we only, you know, it's Wednesday. We only got a, uh, a few more days till Sunday. I mean, Sunday, I mean, literally, uh, just a few more days. This is when the great mystery will arrive. And... I think some of the, um, the statistical uh, data of the Shemitah cycle, it, you know, it, it, 
it, it kind of it can go either way uh, when you look at this stuff empirically. Obviously, there's going to be uh, some faith-based element towards whether you believe in the implications of the Shemitah or not. But I would also like to propose another thing, which is that right now, as we're about to head into the culmination of the Shemitah cycle, the markets, Wall Street, the major indices, are trading in a consolidation phase known as a bearish pennant formation, which is really a, a negotiation between bulls and bears that are not going anywhere. It's a, it's a phase of neutrality. It's as if the bulls and the bears are waiting for some kind of signal to either take the markets up or to continue on with the dominant trend, which in this case is negative. Very interesting how in the beginning of the Shemitah cycle we saw market collapse. At the end of the Shemitah cycle, pre just uh, just a few weeks before, we saw a very severe market correction and it really looks like we are about to fall off the precipice because the bulls have not done anything. You know, the, the market apologists, the Wall Street apologists, they really haven't successfully pushed up uh, the, the major indices to the point just prior to the, mark, the, the, to the broad market correction of a few weeks ago. So yeah, I mean, they made you know 3% here, 4% there, but on a general basis, they really haven't moved up the, the, the price range to where it used to be only a few weeks ago. So that's very problematic. It, it, it looks very much, and you don't have to be a technical analyst or have some kind of special market training to understand this. When you just pull up a chart and just look at it from an aesthetic point of view, you see clearly that the bulls are running out of momentum. They're running out of uh, energy. Their, their efforts are very much waning. Their efforts, uh, it, it, it almost looks like their efforts are being choked off and we're just kind of slowly stumbling towards the apex of this bearish pennant formation. And I gotta tell you that regardless of the statistics that, you know, whether it looks, you know, iffy or not, regardless of all the, the granular details and, and the, you know, the, the quantitative details, it's just very interesting that fundamentally we look like crap, technically we look like crap, and we're just a few days shy of one of the greatest events from a theological point of view, one of the greatest events to uh, occur towards mankind. And so I just find the timing very, very intriguing. The timing is just, it's phenomenal timing. And um, I don't know about you, but whether you believe in Shemitah, or whether you just believe in logical fundamentals. You really need to consider taking your money out of the Wall Street albatross and putting it into a safe fund or in putting it into some kind of format that you have control, or at least that is not subject to the extreme volatility that is about to occur in the securities market. And I really, um, I, I, I think the Shemitah uh, is just, just a cherry on the top. It's just another piece of evidence, whether it, you know, the, the, who cares about the fact that it's a, a religious evidence or theological evidence? Who cares, okay? Who cares if it sounds like conspiracy gobbledygook? Who cares about all that? The point is that the evidence, the, the quantifiable evidence, the logical evidence that everybody trusts, you know, the, the financial statements on paper, they look atrocious. You know, the balance sheet stuff looks atrocious. The off balance sheet stuff looks even more atrocious. So you have 80% of the information that is, uh, that is widely recognized to be absolutely terrible. That should be enough for you to get out. The 20% is this whole Shemitah cycle. It's just a very intriguing uh, theological argument that given the timing, I, I really don't think you, um, you can ignore it. So anyways, that's my video for the day. I hope that you will uh, consider 
everything that I've said here and hope you'll subscribe to the Bullish Money YouTube channel. We're going to start just keep hitting on these hard um, issues that you know very few people on the mainstream want to talk about and we're gonna we're just gonna walk you through uh, this living nightmare that we're about to uh, approach so take care and have a blessed day